Kia ora and welcome back. So uh, now we're going to start adding the doors to our wee pavilion. And uh, before we start doing that, it's a good idea just to come back and check up our check in on our script. So I'm just going to widen this up. So I've forgotten to put uh, and label this one. So copy and paste that down. So make that point four. Okay. Ooh. Okay, uh, and just tidy some of these pieces up. Just makes life a lot easier. We can even hold down shift and select multiple of those and just align some of those pieces. Same with our points. So holding down shift, we can. Uh, Align a few of them just makes things a bit tidier. Pull that out there. Pull this one's across a bit. You get the idea. Right, so let's come back. Let's make this a bit smaller. I might bring this down because we've got a few more bits to do. Bring that down. Okay, so let's come back to the view here. Um, pull this across. So we're here in box one. Um, we're wanting to cut this opening in here. Let's draw some pictures. Um, so we're going to basically draw a box in, in this area. Let's be a little bit more accurate so we're going to actually draw a little box in here that uh, allows us to uh, cut an opening for the door so we need to find uh, or generate where point five is oh, let's finish that and then just turn on that uh, so we can take this distance from point one to point I mean sorry point two to point five so this one is one that we're going to to uh, copy that point or move that point up to there because we're on the same plane um, so we can do that reasonably easily um, let's just measure that um, because I think that's going to be quite useful I'm going to measure that distance out here in this case. Um, we know that that lines up. So distance from there to there about. So 6.42. Um, so we can add, create a new... Or do we have that? We must have that. That must be the, the Y... So this is where this is really helpful um, rather than measure that specifically we're going to uh, take that inside box dimension that we have so let's come over here and so here's our inside box and we've got let's check with this is going in the y direction so we can come back and this has already done the calculations for us on that so we can take, uh, let's bring that down, that one. Um, and so we can take point 0.2, so here's point 0.2, and move it. So we're going to move point 0.2. Uh, so take that point. Uh, let's come back and just bring this over so we can see what's happening. So we're taking point 0.2. And now we're going to move it and we need to move it up uh, in the y direction and we already know that size because we figured it out for the interior of that box so we can come back here uh, and trace that back uh, and then we need to tell it to go in the y direction so we can put in a y vector drag this down to there and then back into there uh, and if we slick on that you can see in here that we've moved that point up 
to the right place. And it's a good idea just to check down in the side view that we're in the right plane. So now we can draw a little uh, box in here or a plane, plane surface. So we're going to do what we did last time. So let's copy this one. Uh, but we're going to need some different things. So the point is the one we just created, so we can bring that in. So uh, we need to turn this on so we can see what's going on. Uh, let's just zoom out on here. So we've got a big box, so we need to make that smaller. So X is the door width, um, and Y is the um, thickness of the wall. So we have that thickness of the wall, or wall thickness. So we can bring that from there, oh, click on it, right into the Y direction. So that's now down. Now we just need to bring it, that sort of hiding behind these other elements. Um, so we can actually turn that off. So if we turn that off, oh, right click in the middle, turn preview off. You can see here, that's that little element. Now we need to make it the thickness of the, the door. So we don't know that dimension, so we come in here and measure it. Distance. I'm just going to do it up here. Uh, hold down shift and uh, get it close. Let's say 0.75. So that's quite good uh, of meters. So um, here's that. Let's just come back. Oh, I keep doing that. Here we go. Uh, so we now need to sort of bring this down in the x direction. So we've got the y. So we need a new x number. We need a new slider. So let's do door uh, width. And then that'll do for now. Well, that's the wrong thing. So we need a slider. It's 0.75 will be good, uh, and then we can name that uh, door width and go OK. So let's just move these up a bit, and then we can drag that into the X direction. And so when we select on that, you can see that's our little element. Uh, let's just go back to Safari. Let's see if we can get a view of our doors. Where are we? Here is a good view. It's taking up that full height. So we can actually, um, so we're just cutting that whole element out. So let's just out of that and then jump back into Rhino. So we've got our little plane. We can feed that back up into the extrude uh, for the interior height. So I can feed that into there. I need to hold down shift so I don't lose the other things I've got feeding into that. Uh, and then if I turn this back on, preview, uh, and we turn that should be off. What's going on here? Here. Uh, make this a bit bigger. You can start to see we've got that hole cut out. Uh, so we've got that one done quite quickly. Uh, so we need to do the other door. Is that how? Oh, we're going to do the return. We'll do it while we're here. So we're going to uh, move um, 0.5, where was 0.5? We should mark that, so that's there. Let's copy this and paste it and bring that over to here. So that's actually 0.5. So we know where that one is. Um, and then we've got the little plane that we used to create the door. I'm going to turn that off um, so we don't need to see that. Now we want to create this other element out here, this little sort of return um, in this piece. So we've got to be a little bit 
careful here because this is actually right down at ground level where 0.5 is up at floor level so I'm just going to go back and see what I did in this um, uh, view here let's see I didn't name my things and you can see the difference right so I have to count one two three four uh, and then when then what did we do then I moved it way down here so I did it a little bit different uh, here it's one of these ones I think I've turned it all off so I can't see um, but I've moved moved one of the geometries so we've got to figure out which one makes the most sense to move and then we can add up some pieces to, to make it move let's come back in here and so actually it's probably going to be if we move 0.1 because it's at the right level um, up let's draw that so you can see make this bigger um, so what we're going to do is move 0.1 up that distance we know that because that's the outside of a box and then we can move it across that distance and we know that because that's made up of the wall thickness and then our door opening so that should be quite easy so um, we can move that or we can actually just create a new point there's not a right or wrong way of doing these things it's just a different way so I think I'm going to uh, stop that now uh, I'm going to where are we in here I'm going to I think just create a new point so in here Apple oh, I'm just going to do this vector construct point so we're, what by default that's at zero zero so we know that that's where um, one is in the coordinate system so we need to move it up in the y direction our overall thickness so uh, come up here so y we can just use that straight away so that's got the first part uh, and then we need to do a, 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 an addition so we need the so let's do an addition shift plus so we need to take uh, the wall thickness so we just need one of those wall thickness and then the door width that we just created and add those two together and that'll give us our x direction so let's double check that we've got that right so if we select on that point ah uh, oh, I haven't quite got that right so we need to the door width didn't come in and connect so we need to just make sure that that's right so now you can see we've got that point in the right place and um, that's there so we can now draw a little uh, box in here uh, in the right direction um, so I'm going to do what we've been doing before so let's come in I'm just going to bring that over there and then copy and paste that give that 0.6 so we know where we're at uh, so we've got those two points and now I'm going to want to create a little plane surface so that was under surface and then primitive plane surface and we want to start that from there let's just see what's going on so that's in the center of that point we now need to give it some dimension so we know that it, it, in the x direction uh, let's just come back in the x direction it's the wall thickness so in here where's our wall thickness there's wall thickness we can bring that down in the x and then the y direction we don't know so we actually need to measure that so distance 
uh, I'm just going to do it over here, from there to there, and that's 1.5, I think will be fine for us. Um, let's put in a, a slider, so 1.50, oh, wrong thing, 1.50. And that can be a uh, return length. Missed an N. Okay, so now we've got this one set up, and that's going to be our Y. Just before I put that, let's come back so we can see. So in here, it's very long at the moment. If we drag that into our Y length. Um, you can see that's just stuck out slightly and now we can extrude that and when that's the same as our outside shape so to speak which is this one up here so the top one of our extrudes so we can then just take uh, the one that we just created bring that up holding down shift we can add that into the, the base uh, and then we'll come in here Ooh. And you can see now that's um, put that little return on. Uh, I'm going to just hide that and do a little bit of tidying up again. Uh, things are a bit messy. Put that down there. So uh, that's um, getting there. So basically. Uh, in the next video uh, I'm going to come in and then add the door on the other side um, and then we can start to add the um, little slits or little window uh, windows elements in and we're pretty much there so not far now